Chapter 611, Opening of the Hundred Empire Mountain Lin Dong stared at Qin Tian, who was slowly laying his hands down, as a chilliness flowed vaguely within his eyes. The Tian Yuan Empire was indeed powerful and Qin Tian's reputation was truly fearsome. Nonetheless, even if they were to attack, Lin Dong's group was not afraid of them at all. Little Flame's muscular figure directly arrived behind Lin Dong. The black metal rod in his hand heavily slammed onto the ground and its frightening strength directly shook the land. After the big battle previously, there were still some traces of blood remaining on Little Flame's body. Meanwhile, his face was also filled with a ferocious and evil aura. Black light lingered on his body and occasionally transformed into a black fog. Standing beside them, Little Martin's handsome face was devoid of expression. His eyes merely glanced at Qin Tian once. Over the year, there may have been individuals who had the qualifications to act haughty in front of him, however, this so-called strongest expert of the Tian Yuan Empire did not have the qualification to do so, much less a youngling that had just came from that place. Even though the current him could not easily use the physical strength of his celestial demon Martin's body, if he were to unleash his various tricks, it was likely that these none of these geniuses could seriously contend with him. Emma Ling, So Kui, Su Ro, and the others did not hesitate even a little when they saw this tense atmosphere. Immediately, all of them stood behind Lin Dong. The eyes of Lu Bai and the rest changed continuously for a moment, before they finally clenched their teeth violently and gathered behind Lin Dong. Currently, all of them were in the same boat as Lin Dong. If Lin Dong was to fall, it was likely that they would not be spared as well. In that case, why should they be afraid of offending the Tian Yuan Empire? Those people around the messy rocky area turned into an uproar when they saw this scene. Clearly, they did not expect that this group would actually dare to challenge the dignity of the Tian Yuan Empire and Qin Tian. He was the leader of the Ten Super Empires. Those fellows, Lan Ying also gently frowned her eyebrows upon witnessing this scene. She similarly disliked Qin Tian and the Tian Yuan Empire and her Celestial Empire were not on friendly terms. Both parties had clashed occasionally because of some resources. However, even she could not deny his strength. Qin Tian was the most outstanding person amongst the younger generation of the Tian Yuan Empire. Not only did he possess a shocking talent for martial arts but he was also quite shrewd. Based on what Lan Ying was aware of, Qin Tian had already caught the eye of Yuan Gate, the strongest of the eight super sects in the eastern Xian region. Therefore, his future was limitless. Of course, the Tian Yuan Empire was originally a subordinate faction to the Yuan Gate and it was not surprising for Qin Tian to have caught their eyes. After all, there were quite a number of experts from the Tian Yuan Empire who held key positions in Yuan Gate. Qin Tian is not comparable to Song Zhen. There is quite a deep relationship between the Sky Devil Empire and the Tian Yuan Empire. Hence, Qin Tian was clearly unwilling to see Song Zhen's group falter because of Lin Dong's group, Qing Feng's expression was grave as he spoke. It is very possible that he has already reached Six Yuan Nirvana stage. Lan Ying laughed bitterly as she softly spoke. Six Yuan Nirvana stage. Even Qing Feng, who had prepared himself, had a change in his expression when he heard this, before he exclaimed in shock. Six Yuan Nirvana stage was enough to allow Qin Tian to look down on everyone here. Looks like the champion of the Hundred Empire War this time around is going to be someone from the Tian Yuan Empire again, Qing Feng gritted his teeth as he spoke bitterly. Lan Ying sighed helplessly. They had already improved rapidly but alas, it was still not sufficient to help them catch up with Qin Tian. The white-clothed Qin Tian standing on the large tree, slowly tilted his head in front of everyone's eyes. His eyes paused on Lin Dong and Little Martin. Qi. Qin Tian's feet gently stepped onto the large tree below him. Gold light strangely flashed. That kind of gold light was extremely weak and there was hardly anyone who sensed it. However, though others were unable to detect it, Lin Dong's eyes congelated at that moment. He could sense an extremely faint and hidden energy ripple, which contained a powerful destructive force, being emitted from the large tree. 
it moved below the ground like an earthworm as it was being stealthily channeled over. Such exquisite energy control. Lin Dong's eyes were somewhat solemn. The surface of the ground where that strength passed, did not show any signs. If it was not because of the fact that his mental energy was stronger than others, it was likely that he would have difficulty detecting it. Lin Dong was just about to act after having sensed the energy that was quietly sneaking over, when little Martin gently took a step forward. His footstep coincident with that underground energy ripple. Puff. A cloud of dust stealthily arose from the ground in a quiet fashion. Little Martin's figure did not move even at all as he raised his head. Following which his handsome face contained a derisive expression as he stared at Qin Tian. This quiet exchange occurred in a split second. Other than Lin Dong, Little Martin, and Qin Tian, it was likely that no one else present knew that they had already exchanged blows. Qin Tian's eyes congealed slightly when his hidden attack was blasted apart by Little Martin. After which, he released a faint smile, acting as though nothing had occurred. Do you really intend to clash with our Tian Yuan Empire? I think that sometimes it is better to follow the rules. Lin Dong spread his hands and said. The rule that he mentioned was that Nirvana seals should be the spoils of victory in this core region. Rules. A person behind Qin Tian laughed in a strange manner, as he mocked, If we were to finish all of you off, what will you say then? Whether you can finish us off would be determined by your ability. Lin Dong smiled faintly. Ha, what an arrogant brat. That person's eyes turned cold as he laughed in a chilling manner, All right, let me see whether you have the qualifications to utter those words. This person was just about to move after speaking when he was stopped by An Qin Tian's arm. His stealthy attack previously led the latter to understand that the Lin Dong trio were not ordinary individuals. Haha. <laughs> It seems like the few of you have some prejudice against us. Qin Tian laughed slightly. His smile was gentle as his eyes stared at Lin Dong and Little Martin. However, it seemed like his eyes were trying to see through the both of them. However, the two individuals that he faced, were clearly not ordinary people. Hence, his detection would naturally fail. But it is just as well. The winner is king and the loser is a mere bandit. This principle indeed holds true and I am unable to rebut. If the few of you are unwilling to befriend me, Qin Tian, I will not force you. I believe that we will have the opportunity to spar on the Hundred Empire Mountain soon. Quite a number of people around were stunned when they heard Qin Tian's words. Clearly, they did not expect that the leader of the Tian Yuan Empire would actually take the initiative and back down. Boss the two people behind Qin Tian were also stunned. Qin Tian waved his hand. The smile on his face was quite friendly. Lin Dong knitted his eyebrows slightly while everyone around were stunned. He looked at Qin Tian, who continued to act in a calm and casual manner. Immediately, some caution rose in his heart. The type of people who would reveal all of their emotions on their faces were not frightening. The scary ones were those like Qin Tian, who would continue to smile regardless of how furious he was in his heart. Qin Tian had actually taken a step back, Qing Feng was shocked as he exclaimed. Lan Ying's pretty eyes looked at Lin Dong and Little Martin. Finally, her eyes shrunk slightly at where Little Martin's feet were. She could see a thumb-sized dark black hole at that spot. She could sense a kind of extremely sharp and ferocious remnant strength from that black hole. Have they exchanged blows? No wonder. Lan Ying's pretty eyes glanced at Little Martin while her face gradually became grave. Clearly, she did not expect that he was actually able to fight evenly with Qin Tian in a secret bout. Shui Ying and the rest immediately felt despair when Qin Tian backed down. Following which, they could only obediently surrender their Nirvana seals. You need to be wary of that person. Little Martin turned around, looked at Lin Dong and softly said. Lin Dong nodded slightly. He was aware that if they did not discover Qin Tian's probing attack earlier on, it was likely that the latter would have attacked and finished them off. Qin Tian was naturally cautious and even though he was very powerful, he still knew how to temporarily endure. This kind of person was quite troublesome to deal with. 
clang. Just when Lin Dong secretly placed Qin Tian on his dangerous enemy name list, a mighty ancient melodious gong was suddenly emitted from the Hundred Empire Mountain. This gong sound spread and resounded over the entire core region. The sound reverberated over the entire area and did not stop for a long time. Everyone's expression changed when they heard this gong sound and immediately, they raised their heads and looked towards the Hundred Empire Mountain with heated eyes. At this moment, the clouds on the mountain top had gradually scattered. Following which, a bright sunlight appeared from the mountain top. After which, a vast and mighty majestic voice reverberated over this entire area. The Hundred Empire Mountain is open. Those with the heavenly grade Nirvana seals must ascend immediately. Chapter 612 Ascending the Mountain The gong sound was accompanied by a powerful voice, which resounded over the entire domain in a vast and mighty manner. After which, it scattered, appearing as though it was spreading towards the entire ancient space. At this moment, anyone, whether or not they could enter the core region, suddenly raised their heads. Their eyes looked towards the direction where the Hundred Empire Mountain was located with incomparably wild and heated eyes. The one year of bitter training was all for this day. Have we finally reached the end? Lin Dong lifted his head and stared at that enormous mountain, while he gently pursed his lips. Suddenly, a hundred over emotions surged in his heart. One year ago, he had left the Great Yan Empire and arrived at this place where the geniuses gathered. At that time, he was merely an ordinary member amongst those participants. Furthermore, his status as member of a low-rank empire had doomed him to start at the bottom of the food chain. However, reality proved that Lin Dong would not be ordinary. During this entire journey, he had met countless number of opponents. Each of them was stronger than the next and they were increasingly troublesome to deal with. Ultimately, he was the last man standing. This ancient battlefield was just like an extremely cruel filtering machine and it did not show any mercy. Only the fittest would survive. It was also this kind of cruel filtering that allowed Lin Dong, this diamond in the rough, to gradually unleash a dazzling luster during this one year. This kind of luster was not inferior even when compared with those geniuses from the super empires. Lin Dong could sense his enormous improvement during this one year. In his opinion, the world that he now knows has become increasingly vast as he trained. The Great Yan Empire from before now appeared so small when he thought about it. This place, is not bad. Lin Dong turned his head to look at Little Martin before he suddenly laughed. Back then, Little Martin had insisted on him participating in this Hundred Empire War. It was likely that he wanted to take this opportunity to train Lin Dong. The final result was indeed very satisfactory. During this one year's time, Lin Dong had directly advanced from the creation stage to the Nirvana stage. His progress was considered to be quite rapid. It is all right. Little Martin once again recovered his casual manner as he spoke lazily, this Hundred Empire War can be considered as a rather decent honing ground for younger generation members like you. Of course, in the future, you might come into contact with even more dangerous places. Lin Dong smiled as he was not surprised by this. As he continued to grow stronger, the things and experts he would come into contact with, would naturally become stronger and stronger. Qin Tian looked at the top of the mountain from the giant tree. After which, he turned his head towards Lin Dong and smiled faintly. However, his smile caused the latter to feel a little uncomfortable. Lin Dong clearly adopted the greatest caution in the face of someone like Qin Tian. Qin Tian did not say anything else to Lin Dong's group. Immediately, he turned around. His toes pressed on the tree and he transformed into a rainbow light that directly rushed towards the mountain top. Those two figures behind him also closely followed. Swoosh swoosh. Following Qin Tian's action, a commotion immediately appeared in this entire region. Those experts, who were in possession of the heavenly grade Nirvana seals, immediately shot out. Their expressions were wildly heated as they rushed towards the top of the mountain. On the other hand, those experts, who had yet to possess a heavenly grade Nirvana seal, suddenly had sunken expressions. 
a fierce glint flashed in their eyes. Some people actually suddenly attacked a moment later, attempting to snatch the Nirvana seals of the others at this last moment in order to gain the qualification to ascend the mountain. Boom boom. Hence, this kind of silence continued for a moment before this entire area suddenly erupted into some furious screams. After which, wild and violent Yuan power ripple began to erupt. S. Bastard, what are you planning to do? Do what? Ha, of course I'm going to snatch your Nirvana seal. Bloody hell. I'm afraid that you don't have this ability. Brothers, attack. Various furious cries basically completely erupted at this moment before the entire region become incomparably chaotic. In order to gain the qualifications to ascend the mountain, those individuals have overridden their individual rationality. Their attacks felt crazy and frantic. Lu Bai's large group all clustered around Lin Dong. With such a lineup, no one dared to charge towards them with heated eyes. After all, even the Sky Demon Empire was defeated by them previously. Regardless of how crazy those people were, it was likely that they would simply be courting death by charging over. Lin Dong's expression was calm as he watched this scene and he was not surprised. His gaze looked towards everyone beside him and smilingly asked, Does everyone have a heavenly grade Nirvana seal? Mo Ling and the others nodded excitedly when they heard this. Previously, they had received quite a lot of Nirvana seals from the experts of the three super empires led by Sky Demon Empire. As such, it had allowed their Nirvana seals to reach the heavenly grade Nirvana seal level. With the strength of Mo Ling's group, it was normally extremely difficult to possess a heavenly grade Nirvana seal. However, thanks to their relationship with Lin Dong, they were able to obtain the qualifications to ascend the Hundred Empire Mountain. Brother Lin Dong, it is really all thanks to your group this time around. We will not forget this favor. An excited expression was also plastered on Lu Bai's face. This usually indifferent person also involuntarily felt his heart fluctuate at this moment. He cupped his hands together towards Lin Dong and spoke. Standing aside, Yan Sen also nodded slowly. His expression was somewhat complicated as he looked at Lin Dong. Back then, when he had first met the latter in the ancient treasure trove, Lin Dong had yet to advance into the Nirvana stage. However, right now, Lin Dong had directly led them and defeated the Sky Demon Empire, one of the ten super empires. As he recalled this fact, even Yan Sen could not help but feel shocked at Lin Dong's swift improvement. He understood that with Lin Dong's talent and ability, it was likely that he would not be a nameless individual even after he entered a super sect. Brother Lu Bai is too polite. We are cooperating with one another and my group is not the only one that has put in effort. Lin Dong laughed. You are actually quite good looking. Why haven't I realized this earlier, Mu Hong Ling? who was wearing a red dress, suddenly smiled sweetly before she said. You were only focused on killing me previously. I am afraid you didn't have the time to discover it. Lin Dong teased. Back then, he and Mu Hong Ling had a little grudge over the ancient secret key. Mu Hong Ling's pretty face reddened. An enchanting smile actually surfaced on her pretty face. Her eyes were rotated. If I knew that you had so much potential back then, I will not compete with you for the ancient secret key. I can even give it to you. Even Lin Dong was unable to endure, as he stared at her enchanting appearance and her fiery eyes. This woman was just like a cluster of flame that caused one's heart to feel a burning heat. Humph. Suro, who was standing beside So Kui, suddenly stuck up her small mouth and let out a soft snort when she saw Mu Hong Ling flirting with Lin Dong. That young lady-like demeanor caused a half-smile to surface on So Kui's face. Tsk tsk, Lin Dong, I have really underestimated you, just when Lin Dong was prepared to pull away from this topic, two figures suddenly rushed over and landed in front of them. They were actually Lan Ying's group, whom they had met once before. Lin Dong did not slight these two people who were from the Ten Great Super Empires. He hurriedly cupped his hands together. Lan Ying smilingly stared at Lin Dong. She gently lifted her sharp chin and said, 
the Sky Demon Empire and the Tianyuan Empire have quite a deep relationship. That is why Qin Tian intervened. Additionally, Qin Tian is not as friendly and open-minded as he appears on the surface. Your group did not give due respect to him. Be careful. Thanks for the reminder. Although Lin Dong was unaware of why Lan Ying would warn them, he still politely thanked her. It's nothing. Our Celestial Empire and the Tianyuan Empire are considered enemies. The enemy of my enemy can be considered as a friend, Lan Ying quietly spoke. Immediately, she paused for a moment before she spoke hesitantly, moreover, the Tianyuan Empire is a subordinate faction of the Yuan Gate. Oh! Lin Dong's eyes suddenly shrunk when he heard this. It was unexpected that the background of this Tianyuan Empire was actually so strong. It turned out to be the top-ranked supersect in the eastern Qian region. Lan Ying did not have bother staying any further after uttering those words. Her figure flashed before she transformed into a ray of light and rushed towards the mountain top. That man called Qing Feng also closely followed behind. Lin Dong looked at their figures and knitted his eyebrows slightly. Clearly, this information had somewhat exceeded his expectations. I have heard of Yuan Gate. Back then, it fought with my celestial demon Martin clan. Therefore, we can be considered as sworn enemies, standing beside him. Little Martin's voice suddenly transformed into a wisp of sonic wave that entered Lin Dong's ears. Lin Dong's expression changed slightly. Immediately, he nodded quietly. Seems like there was no way he could join the Yuan Gate. Regardless of whether he had offended Qin Tian, just this point from Little Martin alone was sufficient for him to give up on joining the strongest supersect within the eastern Qian region. Perhaps no one in this place could see through Little Martin's actual body. However, Lin Dong believed that there would definitely be some unimaginably powerful experts within that Yuan Gate. At that time, it was likely that even Little Martin would not be able to hide perfectly. Rather than being expelled and hunted after, it was better to distance themselves from Yuan Gate. Although he felt somewhat pitiful that he had to give up on the top rank super sect, he had no other choice. Let's go. Lin Dong withdrew his emotion and ceased saying anything. He waved his hand. After which, his body moved, transforming into a black shadow that rushed out explosively. Swoosh swoosh. A large number of wind splitting sound appeared behind him after Lin Dong rushed out. Following which, numerous figures hurried into the air in front of the many envious eyes and directly dashed towards the mountain top. Chapter 613, Eight Great Super Sex The Hundred Empire Mountain was extremely tall and steep. The mountain was as sharp as a sword, piercing right through the clouds. There were no paths or roads on the mountain and the only way to ascend the mountain was to fly up. At this moment, there were all kinds of whizzing sound around the mountain peak. Numerous figures flew up the mountain from all directions like a locust swarm. All of their faces contained a fervent look. One year of hard and bitter training had finally bore fruit. The geniuses from various empires could not contain the excitement and zeal in their hearts. The mountain peak was precipitous. However, most of the practitioners who could make it here had passed through at least three nirvana tribulations. Hence, flying up to the mountain peak was not a difficult task. After a few minutes, under the countless covetous gazes from those practitioners that were under the mountain, some elite practitioners finally made it to the summit with eagerness in their hearts. Dazzling sunlight blossomed onto the mountain peak, bringing surging hope into people like the coming of dawn. Swoosh! Lin Dong and his counterparts were not among the first few to reach the summit. After being blocked by several figures, they finally reached their destination. The moment they landed, they took a sweeping glance at the mountain peak. The mountain peak was an enormous, leveled and smooth limestone arena. As the sunlight shone onto the arena, numerous light beams were being reflected off the floor. It was as if the entire place had become fuzzy and blurry, giving one the feeling of being in a field of mist. Lin Dong's gaze swept across the mountain peak. Suddenly, he raised his head and his eye pupils dilated. Whoosh! 
An uproar spread across the entire mountain peak like a surging tide. At this moment, everyone raised their heads and looked at the midair with utmost reverence. In the midair, light beams intertwined and formed a glowing table and several glowing chairs. Several sat down on those glowing chairs at will. These figures then looked down indifferently at the mountain peak. Indistinctly, an indescribable intimidating aura engulfed the entire place. The super sex. Looking at the godlike figures who were towering over everyone on the mountain peak, most geniuses that came from various empires could not help but bow humbly. They clearly understood that these leviathan super sex were the legitimate overlords of the boundless eastern Xian region. Furthermore, their empires had to align themselves with these super sex in order to survive. The foundation and strength that the super sex possessed were enough to make these people bend their arrogant backbones. Silence swept across the Hundred Empire mountain peak. As the eight figures sat down on the glowing chairs in the midair, the arrogance that these geniuses used to have no longer exist. In the midst of the crowd, Lin Dong was staring closely at the eight figures while pursing up his lips. He could sense an extremely powerful aura from all eight figures. No ordinary individuals would have the ability to match that kind of strength. This is the strength of super sex, it's indeed scary, Lin Dong took in a deep breath. His eyes seemed to be filled with fervent and expectation. If he could join such a faction, it should be pretty beneficial to him after all. They are pretty strong little Martin, who was standing beside Lin Dong, suddenly chuckled. Lin Dong cast a surprised look at him. This was because he never expected that the haughty little Martin would actually speak say words. It seems like the strength of a super sect must not be underestimated. Brother Lin Dong, do you see the person on the right? He's from Yuan Gate, Lu Bai, who was standing behind Lin Dong, suddenly blurted out. Oh! Lin Dong's eyes froze slightly. He raised his head unobtrusively and looked at the person sitting on the right. There was a man with grizzled hair sitting on that chair. His face was slightly wrinkled, and yet it still contained a tinge of handsomeness. He must be rather handsome when he was young. His lips, which were as thin as a blade, was the only facial feature that appeared rather sinister. He wore a white robe and there was a picture of a black sun on the robe. Black and white intertwined and it looked as yin and yang was floating on his robe, matching the word yuan. However, from the beginning, this man had never looked once at the onlookers. He squinted his eyes as if he was taking a nap. That kind of unworldly poise completely suited a member of the yuan gate. Lin Dong's gaze stopped at the man for a while. Then, he shifted his gaze to his left. Beside that man, there was an attractive middle-aged woman. She was wearing a pale white cloak, looking extremely graceful and outstanding. She is from the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, Lu Bai immediately explained when he saw Lin Dong shift his gaze in that direction. He was rather good at providing information. The one beside her is from the Thousand Puppet Sect. This super sect is extremely powerful and they specialize in refining puppets. From the information that I obtained, they possess an immortal puppet. Lu Bai continued softly as he pointed to a grey-robed old man that was surrounded by a ghastly aura. As Lin Dong heard these words, he could not help but shudder. He himself was rather familiar with puppets and therefore, he naturally knew what an immortal puppet was. A puppet of such level possessed legitimate spiritual intelligence. From a different perspective, such puppet was considered a powerful mystical object. He never expected that the Thousand Puppet Sect actually had such a legendary item. The other two are Symbol Valley and Divine Sect. Among the eight super sects, both of these two sects major in mental energy and minor in Yuan power, Lu Bai pointed at the next two figures while providing information on them. Lin Dong could sense a boundless mental energy from these two persons. This was the first time Lin Dong saw anyone with such powerful mental energy over the years. Lin Dong furrowed his eyebrows once more. He could somewhat relate to these two super sects. However, he did not differentiate his mental energy and Yuan power into primary or secondary offensive tools. Even though his Yuan power was stronger than his mental energy, 
Lin Dong knew that this was due to the fact that he purposely suppressed the latter. These two sects are rather suitable for you, little Martin chuckled. Lin Dong smiled at these words. However, he had yet to make a decision. The next is the Blade Sect. They have a Yuan power imbued swordplay martial art that is extremely powerful. Its offensive power is unparalleled. Oh, that's the Great Desolate Palace. Out of the eight super sect, their sect members have the most terrifying looking physical bodies. One of the two persons Lu Bai that pointed at was green clothed and carried a sword scabbard. The scabbard seemed to emit an extremely formidable sword aura. Meanwhile, the other person had an extremely muscular body. His top half-naked body was bulging with green veins that looked like baby dragons. At times, there seemed to be faint dragon roars coming from those wiggling green veins. Apparently, he had trained his physical body to an extremely powerful state. They truly worthy to be called the super sex, I have gained new knowledge and experience this time around, Lin Dong heaved a sigh as he accepted the fact willingly. The sex that he had come across in the past paled into insignificance in comparison with these super sex. Haha, <laughs> there's still one more sect that I have yet to introduce. This sect is called the Dao sect. This sect is rather unique. They have the least number of members, and yet, they are startlingly powerful. Occasionally, there are some crazy individuals in this sect. One hundred years ago, an exceptionally ruthless individual from the Dao sect went bunkers and rushed into the Yuan Gate and killed three of their elders, shocking the entire eastern Xian region, Lu Bai smacked his lips and explained. Even when he spoke of this incident now, he was still extremely horrified by it. The Yuan Gate was the most powerful super sect in the eastern Xian region. No one had expected that ruthless person would dare to rush into enemy territory single-handedly and even killed three of their elders. This incident shocked the entire world. Even Lin Dong gasped at these words. This fellow was indeed ruthless. One hundred years ago, it should be that lunatic, little Martin muttered to himself. His facial expression was somewhat complex. What happened to that guy in the end? Lin Dong asked curiously. The incident blew up eventually. One of the three heads in the Yuan Gate was alarmed and he had to personally suppress that ruthless person, Lu Bai answered and spread out his hands. To become the leading faction in eastern Xian region, Yuan Gate's foundation must be extremely terrifying. Even though that ruthless individual was extraordinary, he still paled in comparison with the big shots of the Yuan Gate. Yuan Gate is indeed terrifying. Lin Dong heaved a sigh, while he grew increasingly wary of this sect. However, he soon raised his head and shifted his gaze towards the last glowing. He wanted to see how the man from this sect looked like. Just as his gaze shifted in that direction, his facial expression froze. Even little Martin was astonished at what he saw. Sitting on that glowing chair, an old and frail figure leaned lazily against the back of the chair. At this moment, a cryptic smile appeared on the old man's face capturing the attention of Lin Dong and Little Martin. That face was somewhat familiar. It's him. Lin Dong muttered. He and Little Martin then gave each other the bewildered look. Chapter 614, A Familiar Face The old man lazily leaned against the chair of light. His elderly face was not unfamiliar to Lin Dong. This was the mysterious old man whom Lin Dong had met in the ancient treasure trove. To think that he is a member of the Dao sect. Lin Dong and Little Martin exchanged gazes with each other, both had strange expressions on their faces. They had guessed the identity of the old man back then. Therefore, they were not overly shocked when they saw this scene. The only thing that surprised them was that this old man was someone from the most unconventional Dao sect. Is brother Lin Dong acquainted with the Great One from the Dao sect? Beside him, Lu Bai involuntarily asked softly when he saw Lin Dong staring at the old man with a strange expression. Yes. I have met him before in the ancient battlefield. Lin Dong nodded gently as he softly replied. At. Lu Bai's expression involuntarily changed a little upon hearing this. Immediately, his face filled with envy. From the way he saw it, 
being able to interact with an individual of a super sect was an extremely fortunate. This old fellow is quite pleasing to the eye. The Deo sect might be a wise choice. Little Martin rubbed his chin and said. Lin Dong smiled. He also had a rather good impression of this old man. Most importantly, this person did find Little Martin's identity taboo. It was likely that the celestial demon Martin tribe did not have any grudges with the Deo sect, hence it would not be a bad decision to join this super sect. The Deo sect is not easy to enter. Although its strength is inferior to the Yuan Gate, its requirements are even more stringent than Yuan Gate. Beside him, Lu Bai interrupted and said. Only after uttering these words did he recall just how abnormally strong Lin Dong was. He immediately laughed at himself and said, Of course, given brother Lin Dong's talent and performance, you should be able to catch the eye of the Dao sect. Lin Dong raised his head and stared at the old man. After which, he smiled at the latter. This caused the old man, who had similarly taken notice of them, to smile in return. This brat, is rather interesting. The old man's finger gently tapped the back of his chair. His eyes seemed to contain a smile as they paused on Lin Dong. There was an admiration that an ordinary person could not sense within them. With his ability, he was naturally able to observe the battle between Lin Dong's group and the Sky Devil Empire at the foot of the Hundred Empire Mountain earlier. Lin Dong's performance had made him quietly nod his head in approval. The old man's heart was quietly shocked by Lin Dong's progress within a short half a year. Although the latter had obtained the inheritance of the ancient treasure trove, his foundation was still too weak. His low rank empire status was a huge limitation to himself. However, from the looks of it, Lin Dong had now clearly leaped across this gap and he was now able to contend against a super empire like the Sky Devil Empire. Lin Dong's eyes swiftly turned away from the old man. Immediately, he looked at the mountain top. There were currently quite a number of figures standing at the top of the mountain. Moreover, the most spectacular point about this scene was that everyone present had powerful auras. Clearly, they were no ordinary people. Those who could survive the various eliminations and finally arrived at this place could be considered the top individuals amongst the geniuses from the various empires. Whether it was their talent or mental fortitude, those present were the cream of the crop. Lin Dong's eyes paused on the old man for a moment before withdrawing. After which, he looked towards the field. The numerous powerful auras caused him to involuntarily nod his head. No one here was weak. Qin Tian's group, whom Lin Dong had met earlier, was the most prominent amongst them. From time to time, practitioners would step forward to greet them politely, and the eyes of these practitioners did not lack a funning expression. This led one to believe that the Tianyuan Empire was extremely famous. Of course, from the way Lin Dong saw it, it was mostly because the strongest super sect in the eastern Qian region, the Yuan Gate, was backing the Tianyuan Empire. Lin Dong glanced at Qin Tian, who was chatting with others while wearing an indifferent smile on his face. It must be said that this fellow possessed an exceptional demeanor. As the leader of the Ten Super Empires, those that the Tianyuan Empire groomed were indeed extraordinary. Qin Tian appeared to have sensed Lin Dong's eyes. He tilted his head a little and stared at Lin Dong while a faint smile surfaced on his face. Lin Dong nodded his head in a superficial manner towards Qin Tian before withdrawing his eyes. Although Qin Tian had an extraordinary background, he did not approach the latter to get into his good books. There are quite a number of capable individuals here, by his side, Little Martin suddenly withdrew his gaze and chuckled. Lin Dong sighed and nodded upon hearing this. After taking a look around, he had discovered more than ten experts who had advanced into the Five Yuan Nirvana stage. These people were likely also members on the Nirvana Golden Ranking and were extremely powerful. However, Lin Dong was not surprised by this. Even though he had defeated the Sky Devil Empire, there were still nine other super empires. Moreover, the ancient battlefield was extremely vast and there would definitely be others like Suro, who were fortunate enough to ascend the heavens with a single step and thus possess the qualifications to battle with the geniuses of the super sects. Therefore, 
Lin Dong was not surprised by the number of skilled experts in this place. I wonder what that fellow plans on doing. Lin Dong suddenly recalled the mysterious scheming individuals whom he had encountered in the ancient battlefield as he suddenly frowned a little. He shifted his gaze towards the sky above the Hundred Empire Mountain. Although he did not know what those fellows were planning, they would likely choose to act before the Hundred Empire War ended. Lin Dong's gaze scanned the area, however, he did not discover anything and immediately shrugged his shoulders. Forget it, it was not his place to worry about such matters. There were experts from the eight great super sects guarding the space above the Hundred Empire Mountain. Even if an accident were to occur, they would deal with it. Hee <laughs> hee, you must be Brother Lin Dong right? A loud and clear laughter was suddenly from Lin Dong's left while the latter was observing his surroundings. Lin Dong was slightly startled when he heard this laughter. He immediately turned around, only to see a group heading towards him. As his eyes swept across this group, he found two familiar faces. They were the two super empire generals whom he had met in the ancient Hall City. The Great Gan Empire's fire general, Tian Huo and Mountain General Mohuang. Great Gan Empire Hai. Upon seeing this duo, Lin Dong realized that the group approaching him was also one of the ten great super empires. Earlier, Lin Dong was merely aware that the Great Gan Empire was a super empire. However, he did not know that they were one of the ten great super empires. This news was obtained from Lu Bai's group. Three strongly built figures walked in front of the Zhu Tian Huo duo. Powerful ripples continuously spread from their bodies, testament to the fact that they had reached the Five Yuan Nirvana stage. From the looks of it, these were the three rumored kings of the Great Gan Empire. Brother Lin Dong, I have long heard of your name. I am Ganjin and these two are my companions. The main reason I have approached so boldly is to apologize. Back then, Tian Huo's group has given you trouble. Lin Dong who originally thought that this group was seeking trouble, was slightly startled. He looked towards the slightly red Zhu Tian Huo duo before turning back towards the sincere Ganjin. Immediately, he cupped his hands together and laughed softly, what is big brother Ganjin saying? Fights are only too common in this place. There is no need to apologize. Lin Dong had a good impression of Ganjin's straightforward manner. Moreover, he did not have a deep grudge with their empire. Therefore, since Ganjin was sincere about burying the hatchet, Lin Dong was naturally willing as well. After all, a friend was better than an enemy. Ganjin's face was full of smiles. His eyes involuntarily weighed Lin Dong. He had naturally heard about the Sky Devil Empire and thus did not dare to belittle Lin Dong. After all, they were weaker than the Sky Devil Empire. Since Lin Dong could finish off the three devils of the Song clan, if they were to get into a fight, Lin Dong's group would likely emerge victorious. It was best to avoid provoking such a troublesome opponent. Brother Lin Dong is really outstanding. Though you are from low rank empire, you are able to enter the Nirvana Golden Ranking. This has not happened for many many years, Ganjin's words were filled with heartfelt admiration. He knew that Lin Dong must have expended a great deal of effort in order to reach this place. Haha, <laughs> if I am unlucky and end up fighting with you in the subsequent Nirvana Golden Ranking battle, please show some mercy. Ganjin changed the topic and suddenly said. Lin Dong also smiled upon hearing this. He knew that the next event was the main show. The Nirvana Golden Ranking battle. It was not only the last battle of the Hundred Empire War but also the most intense one. The final results would determine one's ranking in the ancient battlefield and one's value after entering the super sect. Hence, many people viewed it with great importance. In order to obtain a good ranking, the various geniuses of the various empires would go all out. This battlefield was would truly be one where tigers and dragons clashed. Chapter 615, Nirvana Golden Ranking Battle a brilliant sun hung high in the sky above the Hundred Empire Mountain as warm sunlight sprinkled down. Its radiance was similar to that of dawn. Everyone, it's about time. Seated on the glowing chair in the air, 
the grizzled hair man from the Yuan Gate announced as his uninterested gaze swept across the surging crowd below before shifting his attention to other super sect members. Upon hearing his words, the other seven nodded their heads as well. When he saw this, the grizzled hair man slowly stood up with his hands behind his back and cast a sweeping glance across the arena. The commotion on the mountain peak immediately subsided as everyone looked towards him with reverence. Upon receiving this kind of gaze from the crowd, the thin blade-like lips of the grizzled hair man curled up slightly, as if he enjoyed the attention and reverence that he was receiving. I am the Yuan Gate representative, Lu Tong. A flat but firm voice rumbled in everyone's ears like thunder as the grizzled hair man's gaze swept across the mountain peak. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate everyone here. The fact that you are able to reach this place speaks volumes about your strength and potential. Anyone who possesses the heavenly grade Nirvana seal is just barely qualified to become an entry-level disciple of the super sex. Upon hearing these words, several people heaved a sigh of relief as if a huge load had been lifted off their hearts, while emotion filled their eyes. They knew that their one year of hard work had finally paid off. As long as they were able to enter the super sex, even if they were entry-level disciples, it was enough to do their empires proud. As for the higher-tier direct disciples, these were reserved for the abnormally powerful individuals that had stepped into the Nirvana Golden Ranking. Many people were somewhat envious when they thought of this. A direct disciple and an entry-level disciple had completely different statuses in a super sect. As for those who have entered the Nirvana Golden Ranking, I would like to congratulate all of you as well. You have obtained the qualifications to become the direct disciples of the super sex, Lu Tong announced indifferently. Next up, there will be a competition of the highest caliber. Only those who have entered the Nirvana Golden Ranking will be qualified to participate in this competition. The final ranking you obtain in the competition will determine the degree of favoritism you receive in your respective super section. As it stands, the last three winners have become a member of our Yuan Gate, and are now famed practitioners across the entire eastern Xian region. As Lu Tong spoke of this issue, even though his tone was flat like before, it also contained a tinge of pride and arrogance. On the glowing chairs, the other super sect members furrowed their eyebrows slightly. Though the Yuan Gate was indeed powerful, they found Lu Tong's words unpleasant to the ear. The old man from the Dao sect shot a glance at Lu Tong while pursing his lips. Due to some yet-to-be-known reasons, the relationship between the Yuan Gate and the Dao sect was not exactly a friendly one. Therefore, it was natural for the old man to despise the arrogant Lu Tong. Next up, please enter the arena immediately when I call out your names. Lu Tong waved his hand and a glowing scroll opened up in front of him. Tian Yuan Empire, Super Empire, Qin Tian. On the mountain top below, Qin Tian looked at the gazes that were directed at him and could not help but smile slightly. He took a step forward and slowly walked into the arena. His poise indeed contained the demeanor of an elite practitioner. Murmurs and whispers broke out on the mountain peak. Gazes that were filled with fear and envy were directed at Qin Tian. They clearly knew that the Tian Yuan Empire was a subordinate faction of the Yuan Gate. This time around, Qin Tian would most likely become the champion of the Hundred Empire War. At that time, he would definitely enter the Yuan Gate. As such, the Yuan Gate would have recruited 400 Empire War champions in a row. Lu Tong looked at Qin Tian and nodded his head approvingly, feeling somewhat pleased in his heart. It appeared that their Yuan Gate would once again be the biggest beneficiary of the Hundred Empire War. Great Desolate Empire, Super Empire, Ji Shan. A man, whose muscular body was built like an iron tower and emitted terrifying energy waves, walked out from the crowd and into the arena. Divine Empire, Super Empire, Emo Ling. A black-clothed man swept out from the crowd. Powerful mental energy ripples surrounded his body. It turns out that he was a practitioner that specialized in mental energy. As Lu Tong continued to announce the names, the practitioners of the Nirvana Golden Ranking stepped into the arena one by one. Each time a name was announced, 
an uproar would break out on the mountain peak and various respectful gazes would be directed at the person who just had his or her name called out. Celestial Empire, Super Empire, Laining. When Lin Dong heard this name, he raised his head and watched the familiar figure that had just flown into the arena as he softly chuckled. Great Yan Empire, Low Rank Empire, Lin Dong. A slight pause appeared in Lu Tong's voice. Following which, his gaze shifted downward to look upon the slender body youth. Lin Dong? Is that the Lin Dong who defeated the Sky Devil Empire's Song Zhen? The commotion on the mountain peak suddenly intensified. Numerous gazes filled with intense amazement were directed at the lanky figure. However, at this point in time, no one dared to make any sneering remarks at the mention of a low-rank empire, because the members of a low-rank empire had far surpassed them in terms of strength and capability. Ignoring the numerous gazes of reverence and amazement, Lin Dong moved and landed gracefully on the arena with both his arms slightly hanging down. Great Yan Empire Lin Diao Great Yan Empire Lin Yan the following two names further intensified the commotion on the mountain peak, while shock appeared on many people's faces. The fact that the low-rank empire Lin Dong managed to barge into the Golden Nirvana ranking was already startling. No one could imagine the following two names were from the same empire. This definitely riled everyone riled. Haha, <laughs> it has been many years since someone from a low-rank empire barged into the Nirvana Golden ranking. Furthermore. There are three of them, the elderly man that carried a sword sheath caressed his beard and chuckled as he stared at Lin Dong from his glowing chair. Beside him, the old man from the Dao sect laughed as well. He stared at Lin Dong with flickering eyes. Great Qing Empire, Middle Rank Empire, Sir Ro. Upon hearing this, Sir Ro's petite figure flew into the arena and landed beside Lin Dong. She then stuck out her tongue playfully appearing extremely adorable. However, after a gentle stare from Lin Dong, she quickly closed her tiny mouth. This young lady, the beautiful eyes of the pretty middle-aged woman from the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, suddenly brightened up. She stared closely at Suro as if she had discovered something. Her body actually contains a spirit emblem. Such a promising seed, seated beside the beautiful woman, a middle-aged man chuckled. This young lady doesn't specialize in mental energy. Your divine sect has nothing to do with her. Our Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace will be most suitable for her, the beautiful woman rolled her eyes at the middle-aged man and said. Upon hearing these words, the man merely smiled. He did not have any intention of vying with her over Suro. After all, the beautiful woman was right. Suro was not proficient in her mastery of mental energy, and hence, she was not suitable for a mental energy focused sect like the Divine Sect. As Lu Tong continued announcing names, more and more practitioners whose bodies emitted powerful energy undulations flew into the arena. The gradual convergence of aura caused an increase in the temperature of the arena. In the air, Lu Tong's eyebrows suddenly frowned as he stared at the glowing scroll, before he announced, Great Yan Empire. Lin Lang Tian. Whoa! As these words left his mouth, an uproar broke out. Astonishment flashed across many faces. To think that another person from the Great Yan Empire had made it into the Nirvana Golden Ranking? A mere low-rank empire, yet four individuals had made it into the Nirvana Golden Ranking. Even the Super Empires did not obtain such result. What did the Great Yan Empire do to enjoy such good fortune? Amidst the uproar and commotion, Lin Dong's eyebrows gradually knitted together. He raised his gaze and saw a handsome green-robed man walk into the arena. That familiar face belonged to Lin Lang Tian. As Lin Dong stared at Lin Lang Tian, the latter unblinkingly stared back. On his handsome face, an extremely sinister smile appeared. They were from the same clan, and yet, they were not considered brothers. Instead, they were sworn enemies. Both of them knew there was no way that their differences could be resolved. Lin Dong clearly knew about Lin Longtian's nature. If the latter were to enter a super sect, he would pose a great threat to Lin Dong's family in the Great Yan Empire. Thus, 
for the sake of his family and getting rid of any problems in the future, Lin Dong would absolutely not allow this thorn to exist. Therefore, Lin Langtian must die. Lin Dong's fist slowly clenched itself, while a terrifying killer intent burst out of his slightly narrowed eyes. There was absolutely no way that he would let Lin Langtian successfully enter a super sect. 